Magic the Gathering Arena has been rated T by the ESRB for mild blood and gore and fantasy violence. It is approved for all players aged 13 and over. Hey kids, how you doing? Welcome back to Sunday Morning Magic. This week we have a deck I call Changelings. Um, it's tribal. I openly admit that it's a tribal deck. Uh... You know, the, it's basic in its makeup, to be honest. You know, Lana Werewolves are there for uh, for the extra mana. You've got your various um, get rid of things, cards, you know, the Rabbit Bites and the Return to Nature. It's for creature removal and for removal of artifacts and enchantments. Let me turn my light on here. There we go. Uh, we've got various shape-changing creatures, but this right here... The Muskwood, uh, the, the, the Maskwood Nexus, rather, is the most important cards in the deck. If you can get these down in combination with, say, the Bajankus or the Tendershoot Dryad, suddenly everything becomes a, a shape changer. And, you know, when the Bajankus puts a plus one, plus one on every ooze, that's every creature. When the Tendershoot Dryad, um, you know, when you get, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the city? Whoops. Oh, jeez. Look at this. We're having lag issues, and we're only looking at the cards. You know, uh, if you have the sitting's blessings, all the sapperlings get plus two, plus two. Well, if you have this card down, that's every single creature you have on the board. You know, this pumps the power of as many shapeshifters as you want to 4-4. Four, four. Well, if you have this on the board, that's every single creature you have on the board you see the point now um we've got islands we've got forests we've got the pathways and we've got the thriving uh the thriving isles um you don't really need the 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 other one because this does it all for you plus i've got fatal passageway just because the fatal passage just because it's, it's a useful card so anyway uh let's get to plan The game was actually lagging on me for a minute. You know, and I know I don't have the, the greatest of analysis skills. I'm not a, a top ranked player. I'm just a guy who enjoys the game for the sake of playing it. All right, uh, we've got a nice swimmer of mana here. We've got some use, uh, useful uh, shapeshifters. And of course, we've got our golden card. This is the card we want. I'm going to uh, take a chance on the on getting that fourth mana so I can lay this down. I'm going to take this uh, take this hand as soon as my opponent makes his choice or her choice. Razor 151. I don't think I've ever played Razor 151 before. Oh me. Hope you guys are doing okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. All right, here we go. You know what? Let's drop that, and then that's our fourth mana right there. As long as we can keep those land aware elves, we've got the four mana we need for the mat for, for the maskwood nexus. Nothing? Okay, but why are you delaying? They've got two white mana and five cards in their hand. I don't know what the difficulty is. I really don't. All right, let's drop this as... A blue, and we'll go ahead. You know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna put down the Realm Walker. That tells us what's coming. There we go. Move my face out uh, to a different place. Hey, that's that's a, a good omen. All right. Search your library for basic planes. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. It's a good card. It's a good starting card, especially for a white deck. 
Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna go grab another forest, and it will be tapped, but that's okay. I still have three land. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drop this one. Oh wait, you know what? Now let's let's play him. This is a good card to have because if, uh, with him on the board, when I drop this, which I'm going to be doing now, now suddenly every creature I play um, you know, every every creature I play will get that, will add the bonus. You know what, I'm not going to attack this turn. Okay, a 3-4. Nice card. As usual, I do have a drink because it is warm in my recording studio, and today I'm drinking iced tea. All right, but that's okay. I've got the four mana. I do have a couple of cards here that require uh, five, but you know what? I will deal with it. Okay, you killed my elf. Are you going to attack? What are you going to do? Here we go. Gain one life, draw a card. Well, okay, but I'm not going to attack yet. I have a counterspell card, but I have, I'm not set up to cast it. Okay. Toughness was greater? For, okay, that was just mean. That was just mean. Life link and indestructible until in a turn. He's planning on an attack, probably multiple creatures. I'm gonna let I'm just gonna let it happen. Okay, so first let's drop this down there. Okay, uh yeah. Bye bye. And oh, by the way. Bye bye. And now I'm getting attacked. Of course, they still have me at a great disadvantage when it comes to life. Um, but that's all right. How did you like me taking away your resources there, pal? Are you going to attack? Or are you just going to sit there? He's just going to sit there. All right. Well, interesting. Let's uh, drop that. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Thank you very much. We'll drop the elf. Dude. This thing that you do where you delay for no good reason whatsoever whenever I do anything, you need to quit it. Come on. 
That's a good boy. Come on. Tap an untapped creature you control. Add one man of any color. Well, he has no untapped creatures. <sighs> More delays. Okay. You have a blue. What are you going to do with it? Other than finger fuck my Nightwalker, my Mistwalker rather. Andy scoops. All right. That was game one. Okay. Let's go right into the second game. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm coming down, but by the way, I should let you know that I'm coming down from a head cold, and if it sounds like I'm coughing and snorting and things like that, it's because I've got phlegm coming down the back of my throat. Okay, let's see. Uh, I got two islands and a forest. That's a lot of land. Rapid bite, return to nature, but no actual creatures here. I'm going to mulligan. Only two land this time. Got a lot of three, three drops. Well, let's take it and... Uh, Hope it gets better. We'll send the tinder shoot back to the the. That is the ugliest cat I've ever seen. Well, there's. It's the co it's the color uh, combination, pink and the powder blue shit. Okay. This is what fast aggro does, folks. Okay, now he's thinking, do I kill his creature or do I just drop a land and, and play with it? Or maybe he finally ran out of land. That could possibly be it. Bye-bye. Oh, look at this. Okay. Well, it happens sometimes. <sighs> All right, I'll let him get one more shot in. I don't care. Come on, jackass, make your move. You pumped him up for a reason. Oh, look at this. He's going for hard he's going hardcore. Wow. Okay. I might actually lose this one. Six points will take me down to eight. Yeah, right.
Hi there. I'm sorry, if you were expecting to walk all over me again, this is the end of your ability to do that. Hmm, what to do, what to do. And in one fell swoop, we're almost equal in life total to each other. Well, he's a problem. He's definitely a problem, but there are ways around him. Like this. Bye bye. Andy Scoops, that's game two. Okay, let's get right into game three then. Two land, nice assortment of creatures, but only two land. I really don't like two land. So let's, uh, okay, still two land, but yeah, all right, I'll get it. I don't like only getting two land. Only having two land in your uh, opening hand tends to turn into only having an, uh, two land. Okay, he's going to get a good punch on me at least once. All right, yes. Are you gonna play anything else? Ah. Well, what was the perpetual on that? Two less to cast, okay. All right. You gonna give me my turn now? Yes, no, you gonna wait there and, I don't know, waste my time? There we go. Okay. That's three land. I'm going to put this bad boy down. Ah, look at there. And he's going to bring the goblin back out. Right. Well... Probably going to perpetually cycle that goblin. And he's going to use it to make something that he's got in his hand really, really cheap. But look at the end of it. At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice it. What the hell? What is this? I don't get the strategy here. I mean, I can understand dropping something like an 88 or something and, you know, using it to bum, to bum rush everything. But I don't, I don't get what he's trying to do here. I really, truly don't. Sacrifice this creature. All right, I don't, I, I, I don't get what he's trying to do here. I truly don't. But you know, mine is not to reason why. All 
Oh, looky here. Oh, I get it. I get it. He's, he's, I get it now. Yeah, he's going after, he's going after spells. It's a perpetual, uh, pers what do you call it? Perpetual, uh, perpetual spells. Make your choice, scare guy. Your move. Yes, but now it's a 4-4. Yeah, except my creatures are giants. Oops. My creatures count as giants, guy. Nice try, though. I'm serious. It was a nice try. On his part. He tried. He tried hard. But. Come on. You can do it. Right. You know what annoys most Magic players? When they set up this fantastic combination and the other person just freaking ignores it because their deck allows them to. Come on, guy, your move. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So now you have 11 life. You've got one, two, three, four, five mana. Oh, okay. So you're going to bring back three more creatures, potentially blocking um, everybody that I'm doing here. All right, because you know I can only get rid of so many. This is going to be perpetually annoying, but you know what? I'm still going to win. This is what is called as desperation mathematics. He is doing all the math he can right now to generate as much life as he possibly can to keep me from being able to beat the crap out of him and knocking him out of the game. He's going to bring three creatures back. Watch, and it's all going to be the same creature. Uh-huh. So 
So you've only got one flyer. So now he's only got three blockers against four potentially blocked. You know, somebody's getting through. Somebody's getting through. Because he can't block them all. And there's no way he's going to be able to, you know, he's done. He's just not admitting it. Unless he can pull out a miracle... He's done. How many cards he got? One, two. He's got a lot of them in his hand. Okay. But even so, you know. So far, he's produced nothing that can stop me from beating him. Literally, nothing. Yeah, but you're basically out of mana there, pal. What are you going to do? Menace, Defender, Flying. But he still only has three creatures on the table. And I've got five attackers. And, if, you know, I, I know he's going to uh, block the Pretender. Yeah, now you're just wasting time playing Circle Jerk. Stop masturbating and play your turn. Uh-huh. Four blockers, five attackers. Three blockers, five attackers. You can't do it. You're done. You're done. Good game. You can't hit... F no, you, you have to get to six life, and there's no way for you to do it. You're out of mana. You cannot do it. You still can't do it. That only will take you to five. And now you got only three, three blockers. What are, you gonna, what, what are you supposed to do? Oh, look, look at this. Watch this. Watch this. It's pathetic because he's, he, he can't do it. He's like, oh, i got to get blockers out in front of this. No, sorry. I have something that's going to make your defense completely useless out there already, buddy. Your go. Oops. And yes, he deserved the oops. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week for more Sunday Morning Magic. 
that was fun. I'll talk to you guys later.